comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Axing and dixing and all his reindeers pulling on the reins. Bells are ringing, children singing, all is merry and bright. So hang your stockings and say your prayers, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. He's got a bag that's filled with toys for boys and girls again. SRA Nation, welcome in to Division 2 Season 5 Round 7 here at Laguna Seca. We got an action-packed evening ahead of us. Joined tonight with Dominic Duran. Dom, how you doing? We're doing great. This is a uh this is a home race for me. I'm real I'm real excited. I love this track. Also not far away from the other commentator in the booth, Waleed. How you doing? Doing great, like Dom said, home race. I've been to Laguna Seca in real life a couple times. It didn't help me yesterday, though. It was not. It didn't help. Oh, well, hopefully these drivers on track can make their way around without too much trouble. We got an hour of racing with a 20-minute qualifying session that is underway right now. Our silver drivers are out on track. But first, let's take a look at the track map. 11 turns around this tight track. Lots of elevation change, especially in that corkscrew of turn eight. Iconic corner in all of motorsport. You fall off a cliff, it is totally blind. Can be an overtaking zone, but it is dangerous to go for such a move. I'm sure we'll see a couple of brave souls send it up in there as the race progresses, trying to find a, a spot on the grid. Otherwise, this track is real tight. Not a lot of uh, alternate lines that you can take. It's all about carrying momentum. If you're able to get a good exit while the driver ahead of you makes a mistake, maybe dips their tires in the sand, which is plentiful on the track, then you might be able to find your way around them. Laguna and the uh, mountain, uh, very much you're fighting other drivers, but definitely also fighting the track. For sure. Moving Let's take a quick look at the standings here. I actually haven't kept up with this in a little bit. Here we go. All no surprises, Ghost Rider Racing still sitting on top. Sponsored by Bendy Brew. Shout out Bendy Brew. I saw a little bit in the chat earlier. Followed closely by Champion Motorsports, their Pod Racers division, and bringing up P3 Badman's AMR. Good to see the Badman still in the fight there. Along those lines, is Ghost Rider Racing not a Badman's affiliate? Uh, I lose track with all the all the chaos. I've lost track too. We got over <laughs> half the servers rocking the Badman's brand. Fight the power, guys! Fight the power. Let's move on to the individuals. The what was that, Dom? I was I was just wondering where uh, Plan E is on this uh, list, but uh, I see we're we're nowhere to be found. Uh, ah, P sixteen, P nine, and P nine, and P nine. Okay. Yeah. Our representation in D two not not the best. You know we gotta hopefully hopefully get some better performances today. Get some points. So move on to the individual driver standings. See how everyone's doing by themselves. We see that our division leader is Powell Kreska in the McLaren with 232 points, being run down by Alex Chocut with 209, tied with Josh Damiani at, again, 209, with another three or four cars within seven or eight points. It's tied at the top, boys. Yeah, I think, what is that, a 23-point uh, gap between P1 and P2? I mean, that's... With our with our point structure here at SRA, that's that could get shaken up easily, very easily, especially at a track like this. Um, or I think Chilcut's in Chilcut's rocking the Honda, and 
Preska's rocking the McLaren? Yes. Yeah, that's... Uh, okay, we're going to see some spicy mix-ups today, and I think it might sh uh, shape a pretty good fight for Race 8 at Kailami next week. No doubt, and Chilcut's actually out this week. I think he, uh, he'll he be here for round 8, but uh, he'll certainly be leapfrogged by uh, Damiani, who's in the server tonight. Oh. It's a battle between him and Kreska to take that top spot coming into round eight, our season finale. I think actually right now Kreska is not in the server either. So maybe both of them taking a drop race this week is uh, maybe not a big fan of this track or uh, just needing a little time off from the, the rig. Interestingly enough, some insider info here. Damiani is actually considering starting at the back because he went out with the wrong, uh, he went out with the wrong split for qualifying by accident. So he might have a self-assessed or self uh, self-inflicted quality disqualification. We'll see if he goes out right now. Uh, golds are actually about to go and qualify. Let's jump the track and see what's what. Looks like Mr. Josh Jamiani is not actually going out. So, that means Russell Allen in P4 in the standings. This is this is all to play for for him. <laughs> Has he jumped his POV? Alright, so it looks like Russell is uh, leading off the gold drivers. That little that out lap was uh, maybe talk through a lap once he gets around the through the line. Dom, how you feel about that? Uh, yeah, 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 sure. Uh, in the Ferrari, not not the best car to have here, but it's you know it's a car, and it works. It has four wheels, so you can race in it. It, it does not like turn nine. I will say that it does not like this long sweeping left hander. That or I just have a skill issue, but wasn't a fan of that corner through my whole race all righty so as he as he goes around the last little hairpin and exits onto the pitch straight gonna go cross the line go up the hill over the blind crest and keep it to the left and then slowly drift out to the right to set yourself up for the andretti hairpin and that was actually turn one there and the andretti hairpin is turn two you got to keep it tight through here double apex and it looks like Russell does just that. Get the car quick over to the left for turn three. A lot of trail braking, really, really tricky angle on this corner. You gotta let it run out wide, but not under the gravel. Although if you do hit the gravel, you won't lose a lot of time. Turn four is kind of a similar thing. Um, maximum track, although you will lose a little bit more time if you hit the gravel there. Going into turn five, stay to the right, brake early, get the car hooked up on that inside curb, and get a good run up to the hill, no wheel spin for turn six. Now this is the light tap of the brakes. Get the car easily rotated early on the throttle. Send it. Absolutely send it and run up the hill to the corkscrew. Um, early on the brakes here. Light on the brakes as you go over the crest so you don't lock up and short shift into second and power down the hill. Get over to the right. Get off the power so you can let the car rotate and you don't understeer off the side of the road and get to the left for the penultimate corner. In third gear, you take that hard, hug the inside curb as tight as possible, and then you're breaking hard about, I don't know how many feet out for that hairpin. Probably it's first gear and power out. Back down to the start finish line. It's a really quick lap. Um, and that was good enough for P4 for Mr. Russell Allen. That was about a 23 flat from him. Very respectable time. Uh, the track is only going to get faster. We have set in their times. On a fast one. Let's see what co match is doing. Can we throw line. up the uh, the timing board for the folks in the chat? Time board. Or sorry, the uh, you know the um, which am call it the not the board but the uh, help me out here the. Track map? No, not the track map. Uh, wow, I'm really drawing a blank here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Timing board, the small one. Trying. Yes, the small one that goes on the left. Yeah, working on it. 
Well, in the meantime, we're on board with Kevin Kovach and the uh, Porsche. Very strong, very, very strong car to have here at this track. Probably the strongest. Um, Nick Sand laughing at me in the chat <laughs> for calling it the small one. Alright, so let's see what this lap will do for Kevin. Oh, he runs into a little bit of traffic in the form of an Audi of Taylor Molyneux. And that kind of gets him a little loose, and that probably messes up his lap. Um, but I think he's still valid. So we will see exactly where that puts him. I think it's a BC on the HUD. Ooh, yeah, yes. there you go. Sorry, I should have called that out earlier. Anywho, we're fixed, and we are good. All right, so that's P3 for Mr. Kevin Kovach. Uh, who else is on a heater at the moment? Uh, I see John Crown is about four tenths up on his time. He's currently sitting in P10. I don't know where he is on track at the moment. Uh, going down the corkscrew. McLaren probably doesn't take that bump too well, but that's all right. Looks like John is nice and tidy through here, using all the track he can. Let's see how he does in the penultimate corner. Keeps it tight there as well. Everybody's on track. All four tires on the black stuff, and it looks like a pretty good lap for Mr. Crown. Uh, he's still three tenths up, three and a half tenths up, and that will be good enough for P7. All right, not too shabby, not too shabby for Mr. Crown over Michael Jeffries just set a second faster of a lap time good enough to put himself in P5 in the Aston. Who else is on a fast lap right now? Uh, our own Jason Allen up two tenths coming through the corkscrew. Coming around turn nine now. Jason Allen plan E racing. He's put in a lot of practice this week. A lot of practice. He's He's here to make us proud, and I can't say that without laughing, but we'll see how he does. <laughs> he, he also gets to claim Laguna Seca as a home track, so let's hope for a good result. He does. He does, yeah. Yeah, a lot of a lot of Californians in the chat today. And I am not going to lie. I have never seen the, bro the, the timing board or timing panel without times. I have no idea how to fix that. Yeah, this is but, a strange one. I'm, I'm working on it. Oh, you got it. We're good. That's crazy. I've. We're learning tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We're learning so many things. Every time I come and host a stream, I feel like a new issue pops up. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're learning. Okay. So, while we were basking in our own stupidity. Just kidding. Yeah, just mine. That Dan Cran has put his Lexus on provisional pole. Now, the man is an absolute beast in the Lexus, although I did not think he was this goaded. 22.2 is rapid. That is a heater in the Lexus. I That's want... way too fast for a Lexus to be doing <laughs> out here. Yeah. That's an easy D1 time. Oh, in the yeah. Lexus. Speaking of Lexus, we're staying on with uh, Nick Wagner, who's up three tenths exiting the corkscrew. And is losing a little bit of time on the exit, but maintaining a two tenth faster lap. Nick is. I guess only Mike Scott is the only one up who's also up on his lap. Um, but Nick looks like he's lost pretty much all the delta he gained there, and he's not going to move anywhere after this lap. Um, interestingly enough, the Porsches up top aren't doing too much. And I see we're on Mike Scott now, who's actually on a great lap. More tenths Proving up. almost half a second. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Mike Scott. Okay. Okay, Mike Scott. Oh, figured out the last corner. Half a second. Easy money. Where does that put him? From 14th to 5th. P5. Let's go, Mike Scott. I Eight, like that. Nine positions with one lap. Uh, speaking of the Porsche boys, they're both up two tenths. Ooh. Uh, Al going to the corkscrew now. It looks like he's going to run into one of the players. Oh, he loses it. Puts it in the wall. 
That's unfortunate. That's a tragedy. Teleports and it's up right to back to Pitts. Kevin Kovach to make it happen here. Three tenths up, four tenths up, crossing the line. Good for and pole position. Bold. By four one hundredths of a second. Is that a 22-2? Am I reading that correctly? Yes, 22 Sheesh. Sheesh, ladies Porsche and gentlemen. Is rapid. And he's a tenth up through sector one. Shout out to Nick Sand uh, for the technical help in chat. <laughs> Speaking of chat, uh, I want to see an over under for lap one incidents. Three and a half. We hit in the over, we hit in the under. Is this is this like cars that are that succumb to lap one incidents or that like this is just separate incidents? Contacts and off tracks. Okay, okay. I'm gonna set mine at I have faith in these guys. I'm gonna set mine at two. You think you think they're gonna be two? Yeah, I think they got this. Uh, I'm going higher. Yeah, I'm definitely going higher. Yesterday's <laughs> races were not encouraging. <laughs> <laughs> Brooker Luke. said Kovach is making us look washed. So that that Brooker is because we are washed. Yeah, we've been washed. Someone who's not washed, Jason Allen, the practice coming through half a second up outside the corkscrew. Oh, yeah, Jason. Oh, yeah, he missed the apex, but that's okay. That's okay. We planned for that at Plan E Racing. It's all part of L Plan. It's all part of it, and he's up four tenths. And that will put him, that will put him like P10 ish? P10? P10. Let's go. From P17 to P10, let's see if uh, Mr. Wagner has anything to say about that. He's currently a tenth up, and he's an 11th. See him coming around. That's turn ten. Oh, Nick Wagner with the full send on the penalty corner. Michael Jeffries was on a faster lap, but oh. looks to have invalidated it. It's teleported back to pits. Looking clean for Mr. Wagner. That's that's like three spots, if I'm not mistaken. Move eleven yep, to three eight. Three spots. Let's go. Okay. Good stuff. Alrighty. So, uh, where does that put our top ten here? Our top 12 are all in the 22s. Good stuff. Good stuff from these gentlemen. Alrighty. We got Colin with a bold prediction in chat. No contact first lap. Second lap, he's, he's calling it, will be mayhem. Uh... I don't know if you watched the D1 race yesterday or the D4 race or any of the races, but uh, I hope you're right. I mean, I hope there's no contacts, but... <laughs> that might be asking a little bit much. The steward in me hopes it's not lap one. <sighs> Good spread of cars, though, in the top ten, I will say. we got Porsches, Lexuses, Hondas, Astons, McLarens, Ferraris all over the place yeah it looks like uh, we're we're breaking the uh, breaking the BOP here um, aside from the Porsche at the top uh, we got you're right we do have a great mix of cars here no Audis no Audis uh, if Mr. Diego Frimbris Casas is in the chat he will he will say amen to that. But anywho. Audi will uh, forever to me be known as that car that was crazy overpowered for a season. Just for one season, the Udi. So anywho. Colin thinking uh, Kovac is going to run away with this race. Uh, we'll see. The Porsche has no... This is one of the tracks where the Porsche has no weaknesses because there aren't really any long straights for it to get killed. Maybe the front line straight and maybe the uphill out of turn six. So with the uphill, I think the Porsche has so much... It's so good on acceleration that it kind of just covers its own ass. Any car that's a dog and... Well, you know what? No, I take it back. It has a I lot take of traction. You're right. But... You're right. You might be able to get them. Yeah. Yeah, it's possible. I don't know how many moves we're going to see into the corkscrew today. 
I'd like to see at least a few. <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like to see a few successfully. Porsche Master Hooker Q says, Nah, the Porsche can be deadly in the downhill le left hander after the corkscrew. Bad lift and you hella dead. Ooh, now that's an educated that man. Yeah. Yeah, the weight, the weight transfer of turn nine. Uh, not great once your tires start going, especially because uh, tires are an issue in this race. Not enough, I don't think, to take a new set of tires but enough that you're graining and you're very unhappy around lap 30, 35. And there will be that many laps, folks. This is a uh, this is a short track. I was kind of shocked with the lap counter last night. Yeah, getting into the mid 40s was not, I did not expect it going into it because I'm scared of math and I didn't do math. Right, and this is a, this is a pretty high focus track. It's like a, it's like a Brands almost where it's just one corner after the another, after the next, just coming at you. And uh, you don't really get a lot of time to breathe. I did find myself, though, kind of autopiloting the corkscrew, because once you get to it, like, a certain rhythm with it, it's very, it's very consistent. I don't know, maybe just I felt very stable in the Ferrari through that particular portion of the track. Well, we had to run it a little bit high, so we didn't bottom out through there, and die. El the, uh, Tractor. El Tractor. Viva El Tractor. Amen. Where are we on track? Let's see, how many, actually, you know what, how many drivers do we have tonight? Uh, 32. 32. Um, it looks like no penalty starts. No one starting from the pit lane. No, I think there was only one pit lane start in SRA tonight, and that was in D3. So, good job last week from these guys. Um, now we have 32 drivers. I I don't remember if that means some guys the lights are going to go out before some guys round the final corner. I think the cutoff really is like 35th, so I think they might be good, but we'll okay. we'll see. Okay, so we'll see some just straight, we'll, just, we'll see a straight start from everyone. Hopefully. We're going to hold the camera on this 3-4 battle to start the race cuz I think if it pops off, this will be this will be where it's at. I don't like that the Flanny drivers are starting right next to each other. Oh no, that's good. Multi twenty one. They got they got they got a plan. They're gonna work together. Multi twenty one. Alright. We said that uh said that last week and it did not pan out for the <laughs> Oh I heard I heard Barcelona was not great for Planny as it's green lights and they're gone. Alrighty, gentlemen. Make us proud. It looks like we're Oh no a little out of shape. Oh, I see Carnage oh, in the back. Someone's in the pit lane. Just take the pit lane. Just take the pit lane. Oh, someone, someone is taking the pit lane. We said not to do it, and someone's doing it. You know, sometimes you just you got to play the hand you're dealt. He got spun and hit the wall, and then drove through the pit lane. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Interestingly enough, Dan Cran has taken the lead on lap one of this race. Uh. Oh, that's Kevin Kovac. Yeah, Kovac Wait. just pulled the second off. He hasn't got the lead. Kovac has just run off oh, with it so much Kovac that he's off screen. Kovac was so far in front. <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> oh, that's a good meme. I like that. <laughs> Alrighty. Hooker Q's so right. Really he is making everyone look washed. So Looks like everybody, for the most part, got out cleanly. Not um, quite. As we're coming mind. up the hill, it's mayhem in the back. <laughs> oh, no. Multiple cars collected. Roger, Flo, Johnson, and Botella all recovering still. Oh, yellow flags. Oh, that's, struggling through the sand. That's tough. That's tough. And we got a short pit window this race, and it's not coming for another 23 minutes. So, how'd you guys, guys make it through turn one and then lose it coming up the hill? That's... Uh, a couple of cars tried to take it side by side, and the ones on the outside took to the sand and just looped it. Uh, that's a tough spot to have to check up. You're right on the limit of grip. Cars a little loose already. Well, unfortunately for those guys, dropping a few seconds off the pack here on lap one, but not too far. I will say this isn't a track you can rely on penalties either. Uh, I feel like every other track you could trust someone to get a stop go 30 for track limits. Uh, or a drive through 
the track limits of Laguna are kind of a joke. The punishment is sand. You can, however, speed into the pits very easily, as I found out last night. <laughs> yeah, you can also overcook the brakes on the final corner and drift out a little too far to the right. Get track cut. I, I picked up a cut there. Yeah. Oh, we got a little side-by-side -side action going into the course crew. And it looks like, is that Ooh, which you, Allen? Uh, Jason. Jason Allen. Jason Allen getting the freaking elbows out, taking the spot. Let's go. We like that. Defend your position. As Michi, uh, unfortunately, has a bit of a moment off in the sand after that short little fight and loses two positions. Oh, everybody's super, super tight on the brakes to that corner, but we're all out alive. And I keep saying that, and people keep dying, but not this time. <laughs> Yellow flags in the back. Seems to have been an off track by Mr. Flo. Driving his he own race at the moment. Could be nursing some damage from that incident going up the hill. Ah, yes. This looks like we have a four car, a little, little train, everyone within half a second or so of each other from 7th to 10th. Yeah, the trains here are frustrating um, and ever, ever present. Uh, no, update. Not. Oh, sorry. sorry. No, update on our leader. Kovac just pulled a second and a half gap and put in a 123.1 for his last lap. She is at least three tenths clear of anybody else in terms of pace. Yeah, there's not not too many uh, not too many places to overtake here. Well, not too many places to overtake without losing a lot of time. So when you do try to overtake and you do fight people here. Uh, you tend to invite the next person back to the fight. Yeah, you there's nowhere where you won't get punished for not making them like cleanly. Exactly, exactly. And you can see, uh, you can see, uh, oh my gosh, Doug Lee is all over, was all over the back of, of Toddy there. Um, just looking for any way around. We'll see if he can pull something off into the Andretti hairpin here, but it doesn't look like he's close enough. And he actually has an Audi on his inside. Oh, he's got to respect that he's there, and he seems to do that, but he almost shuts him off. He keeps the spot. Wow, he kept him tight through there. That was uh, that was Bailey Kish attempting to, to sneak one on uh, Doug, Doug Lee there. Uh, I think it's the Audi of the week, the yellow one, because uh, oh, you're you're right. the you're uh, right. Ghost Rider Racing Audi behind him. Yep, Louie. Louie's getting his elbows out. Okay, I see you. Massive train behind. Oh, yeah. What's, uh, who's, who's causing this train? Who's leading it? Uh, at the top of the train, we have Robbie with a little bit of a gap to, uh, Mr. Michi from earlier. Okay, okay. And Tish, who was just behind Louie, hit the curb on the inside of that left-hander as well. More carnage in the uh, corkscrew. Oh. oh, that's a bad place for a car to be stopped. But at least he's holding the brakes. And someone else spun it in the wall, yeah, Mr. Fickert. Fickert. That's unfortunate. The Lexus, just, just so much torque. I feel like every time Laguna. I see a Lexus, it's spinning. Laguna takes no prisoners, man. This is a, this is a tough track. Yeah. It's it really is bathrooms without the walls. Instead of hitting a wall, you hit some sand, and that's it. Pray you don't touch a, a wall nearby. Yeah, this is uh, this is tough. This this brings out who practiced and who didn't. Um, there's very oh little little tap from Bolano onto Damiani. There he's under some serious pressure. Riding his bumper. Molyneux looks like he's faster. He does. He's looking for any way around. Oh, but there he has is. a little mistake. And he Here comes covers Landshark. off his inside. Landshark coming, but this is not the ideal line to be taken through this corner. And Landshark realizes it. He slots back in behind Molyneux. And maybe they can do something up the hill. But it clears Damiani for a little bit at least. He had the line. He had the run. But just touched a millimeter of the sand. Your drive. Closing big on the brakes. But yeah, this place really brings out who practices and who doesn't. Um, 
a stark difference. There's like no grip. Well, there is there is grip. It's in very, very, very limited spots. And you have to be super consistent to nail that every time. Speaking and you see, of grip. Uh, yeah, Robbie Toddy getting all out of shape. And it's a race to the hairpin from Doug, between Doug Lee and Louie. BMW on the inside. Oh, great, great. Great maneuver, and he holds the position. Yep, that's his. So why uh, BMW is the pride of Germany. It's not over for Toddy, though. No, oh, it's not Louis over for Toddy. Oh, he's he's being pushed into an unfortunate line also, but manages to slide in behind behind Louis and uh, maintain his his spot ahead of Boardman. Boardman wants some of this action too, I'm sure. Nightmare before Christmas asked him. Great look. We got uh we got Colin in the chat. Shout out Holly. Who has climbed he's gained six spots thus far. Like nine minutes into this race, pretty good showing from him. Shout out Polly. Uh let's see. Four, Michael Jeffries. Skip up to P3 right. now. And this Honda. Has the Honda become easier to drive or is it still want to kill you half the time? I think I it takes a lot of setup work to get it just right. But I think it, in order to get the speed out of it, it has to be on edge. Got it. Well, someone who's not on edge is uh, Kevin Kovach with a almost three second gap to second place now with a last lap of a 122.8. So he's, Lord. he's race pacing a top 10 qualifying pace. Dear Lord, Kovac. That's uh, that's good stuff, man. Teach me your ways. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> Apparently the answer is get in the Porsche. Although he's really, I mean, Dan Cran is keeping keeping really good pace here, especially in the Lexus. Uh, he's got Smalley on his tail, obviously, who's keeping him honest. But I think I think he's doing a good job at keeping himself in contention um, in case Kovac makes like any. I mean, at this point, it could be a like a, not even that big of a mistake, and and. Cran will be right back in the mix, uh, yeah. but we'll see where it ends up. I was going to say, Laguna doesn't really have small mistakes. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Other than maybe dipping dipping a wheel in the in the gravel and living to tell the tale, that's that's about as small as it gets. And that's probably worth three, four tenths. Exactly. Yeah, and that's... Uh, Dan Cran needs those. As uh, Kovac's not three and a half seconds up because he just put in a 22.7. He's gotten faster every lap. Oh, we have a disconnect. Are we going to reconnect? We are going to reabouts. Yeah. That that was uh that was an Aston to the Shadow Realm, people. If you haven't seen one, you have now. Um when we come back All right. Somebody <laughs> will be alive, somebody will be dead. Hopefully everybody's alive, and it looks like they are no yellow flags in that meantime. Nothing has changed, although Jay Crown and Nick Wagner scrapping it out at P7 and P8. It looks like Crown made that move on Wagner. But yeah, we didn't miss anything in that short little time. Small hiccup, sorry about that, folks. That just goes potty gone to visit the great drivers up at the sky. <laughs> yeah, he went. <laughs> so run up to the corkscrews, the stairway to heaven. Oh, contact. Oh, and oh, more contact. Oh, no. oh it's a mess. It's a mess in the last corner. I uh, should have stayed disconnected. Would have saved some lives. Yeah, but this is this is some great coverage, man. This is content. <laughs> Amiani dropping way down the field. Yeah, he waited to return the position. Unfortunately, there were so many cars that snuck by and lost so many spots there. Potty is just 
Toddy's right there with him, man. Toddy's not having a night. He is not having a night. I'm happy to report that Kovac finally did get a faster lap. Uh, he only did a 122.8 on his last lap. Wagner and uh, Russell Allen for P8 and P9. That's Russell Allen. Did he just make a move on John Crown? Uh, I don't know. It looks like John Crown might have made a mistake, and both cars got the move. Okay, He's there we go. Two seconds behind. He's under pressure from Fire Queso. Queso with the Honda. Queso might have to run on him. If he doesn't have Probably the run, he will. definitely has the brakes. Ooh, ooh. Queso using a little bit of the pit lane there. Yep, there's oh, the brakes. Crown, Crown squeezing ah. hard, but Queso looks like he cooks it a little bit, and that's a little bit of a bump and run, but I'm going to say that's mildly clean. <laughs> <laughs> little bully action there. Yeah. Chat saying that's a ticket right there. Uh, that huh? is going to be a ticket, and that's going to be a tricky one. We're going to have to take another look at that later. Crown gets back up the inside and gets the position back going into turn four. As Ooh, Russell Allen dives up the inside himself. Russell Allen making the most of the opportunities he's presented. I like that. Let's go. A little five-car train going on here. Jason Allen not too far behind. And Jason actually, Allen actually made a move on fire queso. Um, so wow, we got a, we, that train got real spicy real fast. Yeah. Yeah, that is like a mild wing sauce of incidents. Although. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, it's like a, no. Yeah, mild's good. I was going to say it's like a garlic parmesan. one of my friends mild wings, the roasting will not, will not cease to lose. Exactly. Mild no pun intended. Go get some chicken breast. Get out of here. <laughs> Unseasoned. A ridiculous order. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. The lowest I'll go is garlic parmesan. If I'm not gonna go spice. If you gotta go spice, you gotta crank that shit up to hot. Oh, okay. or lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. Ooh. Fire. Ooh. Lemon okay. pepper goes so hard. I always keep a bottle of lemon pepper seasoning in the uh, cabinet. That's good stuff right there. I'm a real base when I'm cooking. It's a lot of salt and a lot of chili powder. I'm straight. I don't need much else. Patches with the dry rub. Dry rub with wet sauce. That's a... What? That sounds good. Lemon pepper dry hot sauce for dipping. As oh long as you drown it in ranch Excellent. later. Okay, I don't like ranch personally. I think ranch is a reserve for salads. I don't That's... like putting it on... Uh, Oh. Any meat or beautiful free country, you're allowed to be wrong. Ranch on pizza? I Go think down. you're absolutely crazy. Right, I know what you're talking about. No, <laughs> no. It's not necessary, no. but it's delicious. I'm not a fan. Oh my god. You are. What, what's your condiment of choice then? Are you like pizza? These, yeah, like I have British relatives. They put ketchup on their pizza, so like they got a whole host no, of issues going no, on. No, 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 no. I like putting hot sauce on pizza. Speaking of putting the sauce on people, Doug Lee about to put the sauce on Michi here. Well, tight up the inside. And oh, in contact. No sauce. No sauce. Oh, my God. Squeezes uh, Louie in, in the Audi to the curb. Louie Louis plays it very safe. They're very respectable from Louie. He could have he been involved in something much larger, but uh, he backed off. Patch is but saying still, ranch on pizza is illegal. I will ban you from the chat. I disagree. I'm with Patches. No shot. <laughs> I can mute you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but pineapple on pizza? Uh, I don't. Oh, yeah. Nah, I don't like mixing sweet and savory. We've had this conversation during a 24-hour stream regarding uh, it's part of the reason I don't like Korean food. No, Sean. Yeah, Wait a I, second. I, 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 I remember this. Yeah, remember we had this. we had this conversation. I remember this. Yeah. That that I will say you're wrong. <laughs> Which is hilarious because my best friend dates a Korean girl, and uh, so we go off for Korean food. I'm just like, well, I'll tell you something. We eat spicy, savory, salty, 
fatty. It's it's got everything. I don't I don't understand how it's too somebody much. couldn't like it. It's, it's there's too much too much flavor. Too many too many it different is, flavors. There's no such thing as too much flavor. It's Damiani is not going to send it outside in the last corner, but try to get the switch back. But I think he the took. AMG has the run on the Aston there. Same engine. They got that. They got that. Mm. Are they the same engines? Uh, I believe they're both using the 4 liter twin turbo from AMG. The old Aston used a different engine, but I think the new Aston, and, or at least in their road cars, that's the case. I don't know what they're doing with their GT3 cars. I see. That's interesting. Yeah. That is interesting. I feel like the, the Mercedes gets such a better run out of a slow corner like that. So yeah, it doesn't bog. Low end torque. Oh, Damiani up the inside. Does he keep it? No, not quite, but he has the better line going into this next turn, I would say. I don't think there's any grip on the outside, and that yeah. proves to be the case. Oh, but a little bump, but we're all good. We're still racing. Yeah, yellow flag spot. for Nate Roger. He's facing the wrong way on the track and got absolutely T-boned while he's at it. Ooh. Oh, my. Picture, picture. That's not, that's not something you want to see. No, uh, he is still falling back. Waiting to rejoin safely. He is moving now, but he lost so many spots there. He's in P31. Chat's still arguing about the pineapple and pizza thing. Uh, the, like, the pineapple and pizza like, is chicken and tomatoes on pizza. It's fire. Okay, I, that is fire. I like that. I like that. So good. Okay, what about pesto on pizza? Also pesto. good. Good, but it would never be what I want. I would never ask for pesto pizza. No, but if it's sitting there in front of you, you take it a slice. Chicken, yeah, yeah. tomato, like, a little feta. How many, how many pizzas are you not taking the slice if it's just sitting there in front of you? What do you mean? Uh, if it's got like spam on pineapples. it, pineapples. I'm not having it. No, pineapple's great. Anchovies. I don't know what an anchovies. anchovies is. That's a good call. That's a good call from Nick okay. Sand in the chat. It's no anchovies. Anchovy fish. I yeah. don't yeah, I like anchovies bad. on pizza, but I, I won't order it myself. Same thing, if it's in front of me, I'll absolutely eat it and enjoy it. Not my first choice, but I'm not knocking it at all. Shrimp on pizza, you guys are insane. Well, I like shrimp on pizza. Okay, what about the vodka sauce pizzas? Do you guys like vodka sauce? I actually Queso gets spun in big contact. Oh, <laughs> huge, huge crash. Okay, Queso and Doug Lee both ending up inside of each other. They must be going to the pits. Doug Lee decides uh, not to. Am I disconnecting or is he just way offline? No, he just he's dives just the pits. way offline. <laughs> Doug Lee not pitting, but Queso does. I am surprised Doug Lee's not going in, but I guess he's trying to keep that track position and oh. hold out until the pit window opens. Queso we, stopped that and teleported. He, he just put... Wait. Is Queso he gone? Parked inside of the pit lane and then teleported to the pit lane? Uh... I, we seem to have gotten a rage quit. He's no longer in the server. Matt Morrison GGs. has teleported to the pit. It's completely unrelated. I don't know when that happened. How many chumps saying that's a couple of damage? <laughs> that is, uh, a couple of damage. <laughs> that's more than a couple. <laughs> Meanwhile, Patches highlights his best as anything other than cheese on pizza makes it flatbread. I don't know if I agree with that. Flatbread can have cheese. No, he's saying if you add anything to pizza, it becomes flatbread? No, no, no. Other, oh, no, other I think he's saying, cheese. like, vodka sauce, like, as a base, would be oh, a flatbread. That that makes sense. That's not it, true. I don't know about that, but he, they are, hey, they're the I, bread kings. Pepperoni, pepperoni flatbread. flatbread. No, no shot. He, he just means anything that's not cheese, flatbread. Oh, uh, Patches is trolling. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go back to to uh, Mr. Rodriguez's suggestion for shrimp on pizza? I haven't I already gave this blessing. I, I'm. I think I'm good. Is I'm that like... a Mexican thing? <laughs> <laughs> because I, in all of my, <laughs> I I just need I need an answer before I say anything else. <laughs> See, I was thinking oh, like. No popcorn shrimp but it sounds like you're thinking ceviche i think that's what i think that's what he's talking about dude in all of my visits to all of my mexican family in mexico i've never had 
Pizza. Well, first, I've never had pizza. Yeah, and the second, I've never seen shrimp on a pizza. <laughs> oh, we've lost the plot. He goes, man, maybe it is a Mexican thing. <laughs> uh, Robbie Toddy and Emily having a good old fight here. Turn four, turn five. Are they are closest on track. Let's see, half a second between them. Yeah, it's our close. It's our closest on track fight. Kind of surprising. We had a freaking huge train earlier. We also had like 12 cars get involved in that incident. That's true. That's true. Now, now we're all spaced out. We, uh, Robbie Ty's gonna be pulled up on Mr. Ficker. Bobby Toddy going quite slow. Dustin had some damage earlier. He didn't pit already, did he? For um, for damage. I know he the pit window hasn't opened yet, but he was he's looking kind of quick for for smashing the wall earlier. Oh no, he's carrying a lot of speed through the uh, corkscrew in that left hander down the hill. His last lap was a twenty. Oh okay, so twenty five two, and Robbie Toddy's was a twenty five six. So he's definitely catching. Ah, so Although, he just looks fast because Robbie's having an issue. Could be it. Could be it. Because uh, Robbie's losing time to lead in front of him. Toddy was, uh, was within three tenths and is now a full second behind and being run down by this Lexus. If I'm the Lexus and I can't get around Toddy, I'm going to just pit as soon as that clock hits 35. You think so? I'm sure. Yeah. No doubt. He's yeah, definitely get held up a little bit. Oh boy, one moment there for Victor, losing a little bit of time now. Through the helicam, get a more of a view. Toddy pulling up on Lee within a tenth Ooh. over the corkscrew. No, not having it. Yeah, no, nothing doing there. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, nope. Taking a whole lot of curb. Cars I've driven for SRA have never been able to take that much curb. Feels bad. Oh, Toddy! Oh, he had a good run there for a second, but he got a little squirmy, and that invites Mr. Figure to take the position on the inside, and he sticks the move, and we're good to go here. Unless Lean move. Toddy gets a run in uh, the slipstream. He's been struggling for pace, so I, I think Figure's going to start to pull a gap through Sector 1. Okay, okay, Toddy, Toddy's... Yellow gonna, flag for Petrovix, who's having had some sort of issue, but looks to be on track and going well again. Uh, the Burmese Python asking who's coming Ooh. in first in the pits. Steven Smalley. Steven Smalley. No, no, no. That's P4. P4. And that is inherited by Al Latufo. What Our happened to him? Resident. Oh Whoa. my god. Hello. Why are we parking? Why are we parking? Who's that in the Merc? Petrovix. Ooh. He just parked right at the pit lane entrance. That's going to be a ticket. Didn't even... Wasn't even perpendicular. The pit lane wasn't is closed? It? Just not the way you expected? Exactly. The Kovac race leader, he's probably going to stay out till the end of the pit window. That's generally the strategy you want to make to avoid any traffic on exit. Uh, oh, Chum. that's a good call. Yeah. Timer. He might have been... He might have been waiting on that timer to be able to go into the pits. Although he was kind of slow to do it, it felt like. But we can go back later and check just to be sure. That'll be a that'll be part of a ticket for sure. Yeah, we're gonna have a whole a whole host of things to look over tonight, particularly with the lap one incidents from the last couple of races. Colin's asking if it's illegal to wait like that. Um, I would say. Yes, as long as you are going in the second that clock hits 34.59. Ah. You can't delay that. What do we got? Also, if someone comes up behind you, like you're going to be at fault. <laughs> you're just parked there on, on the pit lane entrance. Michael no, says no. it's not legal. I'm going to say... Do we trust his decision making? Michaels, it depends on the day of the week, but <laughs> in this instance, eh, eh. 
as uh, Russell Allen continues to stay out up into P6 now. And uh, Ferrari's running well. Jason and P8, plenty racing. Those are our boys. Not hitting each Sir. other. Not hitting each other, having a good race. Well, luckily they are far enough apart on track to not do that. So Jason is, uh, Jason's running about seven and a half seconds behind Russell right now. Close enough. There's still a half a race left. But there are no, Damiani and Wagner are the closest on track within half a second of each other. But everyone else is kind of spread out due to incidents and due to pit stops. Uh, for those who are unaware, if you look at the overall uh, position board on the left, if they have an orange one, they still need to make their pit stop. If they have a green bar, they have cleared their pit stop and are racing for position for the rest of the race. Patch is advocating to... Uh, rear end the person parking at the pit lane entrance so they get a stop go 30 for the reckless behavior by making them speed in the pit lane. Uh, I, as a steward, I can't recommend that. I can't advocate for such behavior. But if you saw the way my head was moving, uh, you get you get my, my opinion on that. Oh man, Damiani is going into the pits. Okay, I, I kind of looked like he was getting a little slowed up there. So that's a good move from him. Um, That's a lot of cars for not having any close gaps. Why did like five cars just fly by as you went into the pits? I'm not sure. I think it was it was a mix of guys who had and hadn't pit yet. Um, so, ooh, that's always frustrating. You can't tell. Oh, and their pit boxes are right next to each other. Who messed up their pit? Who's gonna get out quicker? Somebody had to mess it up. Oh, the Aston goes. Yep. Oh yep. no. Now we know. <laughs> oh, and he's just sure. getting rolling. Curtis got shafted with that pit box placement, but that's all right. That uh, holographic red box, can't see it through other cars. Nope. Uh, Kovac has yet to pit, but is five seconds clear of Dan Cran and uh, is still doing 23 O's. Dan Cran is only five seconds down. And Jeffries is five seconds behind him. Shout out to whoever thought Kevin was really just going to run away with it because you're, you're half right. I would say opinion. a five second gap halfway through the race is running away with it. See, that's why I think there's still, he makes he makes one mistake and Dan's right back in there. That's fair. For sure. Didn't Kevin win last week too? I believe he did. I believe last he did time Barcelona. He was in a battle. At least somebody made it interesting for a while. I forgot who that was. I can't remember. Chad's saying the fact that Alexis in P2 is kind of crazy, and I don't disagree. That guy puts oh. it. He puts it up in the top five, damn near every week. Yeah, Dan Cran's kind of heated up this season, as well as Nick Wagner, also running the Lexus. Those guys are making the Lexus look real good this season. Both of them really consistent. And the Lexus very much feels like a jack of all trades kind of car, and I feel like we've had a jack of all trades kind of season so far with the tracks we've raced at. Uh, my my gut feeling is I feel like next season is going to be very much a high speed season. Well, you're just going to have to wait and see to the uh, season six reveal stream. Give us Spa, give us Monza, give us Paul Ricard, all the high speed circuits. Let's see who's going into the pits. Mr. Jeffries is in the pits. Michi is in the pits. Um, Kevin is in the pits. Uh, Trump, I'm pretty sure you did win the over under going over. Uh, we had we didn't have a lot a turn one incident or turn two incident. We had a weird like turn six incident that took out a couple cars. Well, if you took the over, you you start gambling professionally. So I have to add disclaimer that SRA does not condone gambling of any sort. And if you lose your money, it's not on us. It's 
You know, I noticed here yesterday when we were racing, uh, your tire pressure, like the pit lane is so short that your tire pressures really don't drop off at all. When you come into pit. Oh, what the heck is happening here? He's parking it. He's parking it on the corkscrew. Oh, he's blue flagged. He's blue flagged. That's not the place you want to move over for the blue flags. You have a whole oh, lap to get no. out of the way. That is extremely dangerous. Thankfully, nobody runs into the back of him. Hey, welcome to the stream, Dead Last. I like your name. Been too long. Hope everyone's great. We hope you're great too, buddy. Michael says CGA Gamble. Coach Jeffrey's Academy Gambling is coming after fantasy. I'd love to see that. I thought you put up that uh, fantasy. What, was it? what do you call that? Fantasy League? Yeah. Yeah, totally. I gotta check that out. I, I just saw the uh, announcement for it. But it sounds pretty sweet. I'd uh, I'd do a little money league with somebody in here. I'd love to see how that goes. Is it just the fastest drivers, or is it division split? I don't know. Is the meta gonna be to get the guys who are like clearly misseeded in their division for early wins before they get reseeded? Like, how deep are we gonna go with this? You just went way deeper than I was thinking. That's kind of <laughs> genius. He actually does go deep into the final corner and loses the run he had on Molyneux. Is that Paule there? Yes, P19. Paule making up 11 spots so far this race. Ah, he has pitted. He's D1 for next season for the uh, Fantasy League. Oh, okay. Dude, that's not fun. I want to bet on everyone. Draft Ryan Yee. Figure the rest out later. I feel bad for whoever ends up picking me in drafts. That's uh, I'm good for maybe a race or two in a season. Might match a top ten, maybe possibly. But... Uh, race leader has pit and come out last lap, and he's still six seconds clear of P2. And it looks like everyone's getting their pits in as the window's closing in 45 seconds. And the only people left who haven't pit are currently in the pits. Boardman, Allen, Poliak. Jason uh, Allen up in P9. Let's go. He undercut a couple of those guys. Managed to get over Russell and Boardman. No, he, he pit before them. Oh wow! So they tried. Okay, so the other guys went for the went for the overcut. Yeah, they went for the last second pit, probably to try to avoid traffic, but it looks like it didn't work out. Sheesh, good stuff, Jason Allen. Man's put, having a great race tonight. Love to see that. Russell Allen, though, is uh, a tenth off of Doug Lee, so he's right on his tail here. It's see okay, his car looks screen. better. It's true. It's true. That Coca-Cola livery is beautiful. Crisp. Michael, so Dom's getting ready to ruin some fantasy owners' weeks. Dom, you gotta get your internet sorted, and then I'll pick you. But before that happens, hey, no, hey, now, hey, now, we we upgraded the servers. <laughs> we did. That is true. I actually, I did not. I had great ping yesterday in the race. That is true. We upgraded our servers. It, my, I think it was a server thing for me because I I don't disconnect from any other server, be it LFM yeah. or random servers or whatnot. It, it was only SRAM1 that I would disconnect from. So Interesting. This I fight's think... been going on for 10 laps, by the way. Molyneux, Louis, and Artman. Well, Polly, Polly's yeah, kind of onto a little late, but these two have been fighting for a minute. Uh, Polly's kind of steaming through the field here. The guy's, I mean, 11 positions. He started P30. Yeah, that's a good race already, and still plenty of time to make up some more. It's got real good momentum. Louis giving us quite a bit of action too. Whether or not he's let's see, he's made up he's lost three positions, but I'll tell you what, he's he's gone down fighting all three times. That's for sure. I've seen that yellow audio a lot already this stream. It's been right in the mix. Uh, I need I need you guys along with chat to set up an argument. Okay. The track map, right? Is yep. that a whale or is that a T-Rex? 
Like who's arguing? Whole... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get either of those? <laughs> if, if if you think the little that uh, two three four complex is like the mouth, I think it looks like a whale. But if you think the Andretti hairpin could be arms, it definitely looks like a T Rex. We were having this oh, argument in yeah. like a late night practice, and then it continued into the D four uh, race review. I honestly have no idea. I don't see either of those. <laughs> I'm, see I'm seeing both now, actually. <laughs> what the hell? I think it's way more of a T-Rex, actually, now that I look about it. Short look arms. At it. Yeah. Just like the shape of uh, the head. <laughs> Sorry, Patch is saying, we're on the street, a new ship has landed. There'll be five more aliens to expect soon. Are we getting some faster drivers in SRA? Can we stop doing that? So and I hear. Hard. I hear Mr. Jeremy Mercer's brought friends. Oh I'm, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Which is, that can only be a good thing. Not for the yeah. guys at the bottom. <laughs> Python asking me if I'm uh, intoxicated. Uh, no. It's definitely, it's a what? It's still, it, <laughs> no shot. <laughs> I don't know what that Although, means. Actually, no, 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 he's right, he's right. Python asked me how high I am, then agreeing it's a T-Rex. Come on, man. Come on. No, Michael's right. It's the it's the Easter Island head with a tail on the back, like a rat tail. I don't I don't know what the Easter Island head looks like. I don't have. A, God. I'm not cultured. Well, have you ever seen Night at the Museum? Once, vaguely. Okay, then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna repeat it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna give that in my, my impersonation here tonight. Not enough channel points for that. God, no. accents. Is uh, Russell Allen defending from Doug Lee? I think the BMW has the legs and the Ferrari in the straight. Especially if the Ferrari is running max wing, as I just learned last night. But it looks getting like a he position. He's got that inside line, he's got the priority, and he's going to keep that position for the time being. Yellow flag for Robbie Toddy, who's dropping position. Something happened right before the coach group. Maybe we're going to get that up in picture in picture. I'm sorry, who was that? Uh, Toddy. All right, nice on Toddy. Michael saying once I make races, I'll be up there. Stop going to LFM, come back to SRA. Audi's nursing some damage right now, actually. He's got a bent up hood. Oof. Signs of big damage. Now, is this the leader coming up on him? It is, showing the blue flag and conceding the line to uh, Kovac. Nine second gap in building. Nine one, nine two. Evan making his case for D1. The I've been looking at the uh, SR rate, SR rating, SR rate, rating, yeah. SR rating. I've been looking at those boards, and uh, Kobach's pace rating is faster than me. Uh, that's not saying a lot, but <laughs> if, if I'm in D1 and Kevin's faster than me, he should definitely be D1, and uh, yeah. His performance tonight, nine seconds ahead of P2 right now, he's definitely looking like he deserves a spot next season. Maybe he keeps killing people. No. No, he's clean. Kevin's a very clean racer. He is. I'm trying to think back to earlier in the season if he had any unfortunate events that led to a poor performance. I can't really think of any. I think he's actually been real solid this season. And yeah. it's, it's not his first season at the Porsche either. No. That helps. That helps. I mean, still, all credit to him. No doubt. Yeah, he's got crazy pace and on track for back-to-back -back wins. That'd be pretty sweet for him. I've never done that. My time is coming. Season 7. Season... Se season no. 7? Yeah, se yep, Season 7. I'm gonna need some more practice. Season 6 is too not early. Six? Season 6 is too early. No, I need more practice. Okay. Season 7. Season 6 is a warm up. <laughs> season 6, I'm trying to drive the Rex, so I don't have much of a... much of a hope of winning some races. 
Michael Manning. You can win to the Rex. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah. see. We'll see. We have a... Michael Menning in the chat revealing the real reason why he doesn't show up to races is because he likes to stick to his SR alien rating and if he joins a race and does poorly he risks relinquishing that title uh, and after Laguna Seca last night it is very possible that he did just that <laughs> shout out to Comic Racing all in the top 15 they, uh, I'm going to be honest, the livery last season might be one of the best racing liveries I've ever seen. Oh, huh? oh my gosh, yeah. a freaking and, work of art. And this yeah. season is very much more understated. For sure. It still looks great, but I prefer last season's livery. Is it, last season was crazy. There's the Dia de los Muertos livery. That and then this Aston, which is uh, a livery. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, sorry, Kevin, Kevin and uh, Al are running the yeah the Dia de los Muertos livery. That one is stunning. Yeah, I, okay, yep. now I see, I see now. Yeah. Oof, Take a look at that. There's one. that one. Great. So good. Season 6 is unthemed, though, as uh, we have a yellow flag for Doug Lee, who seems to have touched dirt, but is back on track and is uh, continuing on. Uh, there is no livery theme for Season 6, I don't believe, so it'll be interesting to see what the creative juices look like, and see what people put together. I've got an idea for my car next season. I won't reveal any details, but I will say I've been planning. I don't know what car it's going to be yet, but the idea I'm going for I think is pretty set in stone. Nice. I don't know if you guys have been thinking about that yet. Uh, I'm a Plan E member, so kind of whatever whatever Big Boss Dom over here picks, uh, we kind of just roll with. Oh, is that how it goes? <laughs> That's Make how I no thought mistake. it went. <laughs> I'm the face of the organization, regardless of how shitty the organization is, but Jason Allen is the, is the brains. <laughs> That's, that explains a lot. That's why he's currently running P9. He's having a good little race for Jump himself. Him. Four seconds of clear and four seconds clear both directions. So he's, he's doing just fine. He has made up two positions in this race so far. Actually, that reminds me, this race is biggest winners and losers. Losers are obviously the ones who have not finished here and are not showing up on my, my timing screen. But um, for those that are here, Robbie Toddy, who's kind of had a... Just a, an abysmal race, uh, no, through no fault of his own, for the definitely, most part. Definitely one to forget. Hopefully, he still has to drop. Exactly, that would be that would be ideal for him. Um, he's really the only one who's lost a decent chunk of spots. Uh, biggest winners are uh, Johnson and the Merc, running P23 right now. Damian. They have eight spots. Uh, Damiani's made up nine spots, and he's up to P16. Uh, Pauley Hartman is in the Aston. He's running P19. He's made up 11 spots. Uh, Jack Pauliak has also made up nine spots in P14. Off track, I did. As we talked about it, Damiani goes off track. Oh, we just cursed positions. Damiani. Very confused. As soon as we clicked to him, just right off the side of the road. But he's managed to recollect himself and get back on track, going through turn nine now. Louis, Louis ready to provide us with some more action. He's ready to scrap it out Molino again. Audi on Audi. It's so frustrating being stuck behind a car, the same car as you. I feel like there's not much difference in performance, so if they're competent, it's very difficult to get a pass by. Yeah, you're right. This is gonna be tough for Louis. Yep. Molyneux. Although Louis got Louis for sure has the pace on Molyneux. Molyneux ran a 
I don't know if he made a mistake last lap, but it looks like he ran a 24-7, which is generally the, the pace of the guys ahead of him, or immediately ahead of him, that is. But Louie ran a 24-1. So, he's capable. He is more than capable. And his Although, best time is three tenths faster as well, a 120-4 versus a 123-7. Exactly, exactly. So I think he, ah, he can do it, but you do need a pretty hefty pace advantage to be able to pass anywhere other than the straights here. It looks like his exit just isn't good enough. Nick Wagner and Stephen Smalley right on top of each other. Three tenths. Is that Stephen Smalley? Okay, so after his little off, he is down in P6. Um, his little pre-pit off. Yeah. Um, defending for his life from that Lexus. God, the Lexuses are menaces today. And not in a, in a good way. But these Lexuses are the epitome of sound good, look good, do good. Well, at least the Laguna. Although, in Cran and Wagner's case, pretty much everywhere, so never mind. Oh, that's a good run. That's a good run. He's got to get in the slipstream, though. I don't know why he's just ignoring it. I guess he has the inside line, so he's a little bit of a shorter distance, and it looks like, wow, he's just going to beat him on pure pace. That's yeah, Lexus that's versus Honda Power. You can, ignore, you can ignore the racing line if you have horsepower. Holy crap. Right by him. Smooth, no drama. Move done. That was by you. Louisiana style. Alrighty. They put Randy on their wings. Kevin. They, I bet they do. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Michael yelling, uh, front engine supremacy for the front of the grid. There, there are two Porsches. Oh, for the grid as a whole. Got it. Total opposite of D1 race last night. I was making a joke in qualifying. I said, first front engine car on the grid was like, P, I, think, I think it was me. I ended up like P18. Everybody P1 through 17 was either mid or rear engine car. That's crazy. Well, I mean, if you look at the grid now for this race, there are six Mercedes and they make up the bottom eight spots. I was just looking yep. at that. I was yep. just going to point that out. <laughs> <laughs> and there are three Lexuses down there, too. Like, oof. It's not a great place to be a front engine car, it looks like. Quantity over quality. A little update on Kevin. Although I, you can see it on the main screen here. Kevin is 14 seconds clear of Dan Cram. As I skip through the cameras and you don't see anyone near him. Oh, there's a back mark in front of him. Kevin's last lap was a 23-2. He's still just banging out, banging out laps. Yeah, his that best lap was a 22-7. So this man is like the uh, epitome of consistency tonight. That is absurd. Dan Cran here running on his own. 14 seconds behind Kovach, but also 9 seconds clear of Al in P3. Al's last lap, though, was a 23.7 compared to Dan's 24.3 that was invalidated, so he had a, he had a bit of a moment. Uh, Kovacs putting in a 23.0. So still just banging out lap time. They might get a little spicy fight between uh, Coach Michael Jeffries and Al Latufo. I was on with them for uh, quite a few laps. Jeffries just a little bit faster in some spots, but then that Porsche acceleration just drives away in others. He's still hanging there pretty close though. All it takes is one little slip up from Al and Jeffries could try to snipe that last podium spot here. Oh, apologies, chat. Chat saying stop selling Kovac. Uh, you know, just for that, I'm gonna ride with Kovac for a lap, see how he does. I think, I think Kevin can handle it. He's been solid <laughs> for the entire race. Way ahead of you. 
Thank you for redeeming your channel points. And Patches has requested... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, that was an old bird driver request. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's see. You got this, Kevin. One Although, lap. Although, we three, say that Jeffries is now within two tenths of uh, Al, so we're just going to monitor that gap. Well, if you don't if you don't switch back, then he might get the move done. But if you do switch back, it's guaranteed that he won't. <laughs> Kevin's engine dies. <laughs> Can that happen? Can you have an engine? No. Machine? Well, yeah. I, I, you know where? I bet you can get it on the corkscrew. Oh. Yeah. If you keep over revving. Yeah, that's fair. Yep. Lock the brakes up in the braking zone and just slam the downshifts. It looks like Kevin's hanging on, though. Hang on, his last lap was a 22-9. Kevin is more than hanging on. Kevin has grabbed this race. Two hands. Open palm. And I'm smack the living shit out of it. I'm hopping back on Jeffries in the small screen. I feel like Kevin could half spin it and still be perfectly fine. Still have like a seven second gap. Oh yeah. He comes across the line for a 23-2. So a slower we lap. We jinxed his lap. We jinxed his lap. We made him three tenths slower. Oh no. We jump in with Wagner and uh, Michael Scott half a second off each other. Is that Coach Jeffrey's car catching up or is it still just holding the gap? The same thing, it kind of catches them in some spots, but that Porsche just gets out so fast. Scampers away. Oh, Mike's... Mike Scott? Oh, I would have gone for the move there. If I was Wagner, I would have sent it. Mike Scott showing composure. And generally just ignoring the fact that there's a Lexus there. But anywho, it's it's 8 p.m. and the sun has barely gone down. Um, Kunos, that's not that's not uh, how Laguna is, but uh, <laughs> for for race purposes, it works. It makes the lighting look really really cool, though. It does. Tom, have you gotten a chance to get out to Laguna? Like actually get out there? I. What do you mean, like drive or just Either like or go? Driver watch. Well, I wish I wish I could drive. I've been out there th four times now. Okay. For for different events, odd events. Um, yeah, I love that place, man. It's short enough to just walk everywhere. I mean, you can nobody nobody really shows up. You can go in the paddock. You can pretty much go anywhere in the paddock, and uh, you can watch from any point in the track. It takes like five minutes to walk to any part of it, and yeah. Good time. Good time for sure. I will say, last time I did, I did it on a bike. And Ooh. corkscrew on a bike is just a horrifying feeling. Like, I'm, I'm good. What is good that, for man? you. <laughs> what was that, Evan? So that sounds insane. It's, it's, you feel like you're just falling off the edge of the planet. And just well, like, like the speed you must get from that is absurd and then you gotta take that left hander too yeah well you're i'm you're good by the time, time. oh yeah oh my god <laughs> yeah isn't it like a six story drop i've heard different i've heard between five and ten stories uh either way it's all together to a contact through the corkscrew two mercs Ooh. come together uh, back markers actually it looks like oh it's getting messy it's getting messy uh, and someone died uh, who is that ooh. that's Curtis Lee yep. oh Curtis died uh, Nick took advantage of that to get the drive though and gets ahead or it gets the inside line to the last corner taking advantage of the chaos Nick 
snags that spot from Mr. Michael Scott. But Stephen Smalley right behind. is also in the mix. Um, it looks like he had to lift or something on the straight, but Mike Scott's leaving the window open. Oh, and Stephen Smalley cooks it going into the breaking zone. Oh, but he just barely dodges everyone, and everyone is safe for the time being. You gotta wonder if he was spooked by the AMG there that is probably getting blue flagged at the moment. Oh, 100%. 100%. And just because I like that you you called that blue flag out just because it was a Merc. I mean, you know, not a fan. P23 through 30, aside from two cars, are Mercs. Brutal. Brutal. What's the opposite of Mercedes Master Race? Mercedes Minor Race? Fiat. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's just a shitty Dommler. Fiat's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Fiat. <laughs> Who currently owns Fiat? Probably Volkswagen. Let me check. Ah, I was uh, Fiat Chrysler for a while. Wow. Oh, that's right. I feel like I remember this because I got, I got an argument with my government teacher in high school. It was like a word bank question, and the question, like the hint was a type of the a type of currency that's also an Italian car, and fiat is a type of currency. But I vehemently argued that it was not an Italian car. I didn't win. I, I still got the question wrong, but I do remember that argument. Surprisingly enough, um, I've actually, I'm, I'm collecting race contact data right now and I'm just looking at it. Very, very, very limited number of contacts here. That's good. I think generally speaking, this race has actually been pretty clean. Um, it's just been a lot of offs from, from certain guys, you know, dipping a wheel in the dirt. And it just carries you, but uh, yeah, I mean, and Curtis all got all killed. Those have been pretty good. And well, you know, Curtis got murdered. So there's there's the occasional murder. You can't avoid those, you know. I read today that San Francisco near, which is, I don't know, what is that like, two hours north of Laguna Seca? Yeah, we've been a good day. You know what? I, I'm actually not going to quote the stat I was about to quote because uh, that's <laughs> <laughs> that's too heavy for the stream. It's not a not a safe city anymore. Well. 45 murders per year. That's not bad. That's what I was thinking, right? That's not yeah, bad. Yes. That doesn't sound that bad. Like, I'm, like if I lived there, I'd take my odds. Yeah, in a city with like, how many, like 2 million people? No. San no Francisco? Way, nah, no way. Is it one? I don't even know if it's a million. I don't know if they have that much space. Oh, it's 815,000. I'm dumb. Okay. Although they do count, like, Daly City and South San Francisco, which is a different exactly. city, like that area. Yeah. yeah. It's like LA's not Los Angeles. It's like 12 different little hubs and cities. Stellantis, get it. Michael's adamant that it's not VR Chrysler, it's Stellantis. Uh, as Kovac finishes the race in P1, um, over 15 seconds clear. Doesn't look like Michael Jeffries is going to have any opportunity to get the move in, being almost a half a second behind in the hairpin for eight tenths now. Max Scott, four tenths behind the Lexus. Three tenths, back to four tenths. Looks like it's not going to be enough for Mr. Mike Scott today, but that is a good showing from him. That's P6. Um, uh, excellent. On the okay. Then we have. Smalley Crown. Oh, wow. Race Control doing all sorts of funky stuff right now. Moving people around. Standings, yeah. Jason Allen finishes P9. We think. Good sh we think. Oh, so you're getting the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Dan Cran is, in fact, a silver driver in the Lexus. <coughs> Misplaced. Yeah, I think I smell D1 for Mr. Cran next season. I thought sandbagging was frowned upon. 
It is, but you know what isn't? Improvement. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> that was terrible. Yeah. Turn the stream off on bad. that, but we got we got it post race interviews. Bad. That's Kevin Kovach and Al Tufo, teammates on the podium. It's not too often we see that. The Porsche boys. All right, so our top ten. Now that it's is settled. It's hard to tell because oh, Kevin Kovach just left. Yep, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, sorry, um, but time to jump straight to interviews. Um, real quick, Patches has has clarified something for us. Um, if anything, if there's anything other than cheese on a grilled cheese sandwich, it should be considered a melt. So that's your fun fact of the night. Hot dogs are not tacos, Michael. I will fight you. Hot dogs are tacos. Are tacos sandwiches, oh. though? You know what? Let's just jump into no. no. is a crazy, crazy discussion. Also no. Let's see, who do we got in chat? Who do we want to talk to first? I know. Let's pull up Kevin and Al together. Let's do it. Um, what chat are we in? Uh, we're in commentators Twitch chat. That's, a, yeah, okay, okay. One second. Pull up Kevin first. Um, and then Al. 10 seconds of Kevin. Gentlemen, oh, the yeah, uh, Kevin left. Why nope, Kevin? That, that oh wait, no, was, Kevin's here. That was out. Where did Al? Back. Sorry about that. There we Hurry go. Al back. Yep. There we go. Teammates on the podium. Yo. Finally. Good stuff, gentlemen. Good stuff. That would be our our second double podium. The second last the last time was a two three, but um, man, that was tough. I'm really sweaty right now. <laughs> that was well deserved, though. Yeah, Very well yeah Jeffrey's on you for like, I felt like the whole race, I was on you guys forever, and he was just within a second, yep. non-stop. But... Yep. I kept trying to talk to Al, and he kept telling me he couldn't talk, he was too yeah, busy. Shut up, <laughs> yep, shut up, I gotta, I gotta do this. I'm not gonna screw this up. I mean, Kevin, was that because you were bored with a 15 second gap? Like, what was going on with you? Dude, I couldn't, I kept losing focus, man. Honestly. I need somebody to follow, or somebody to, to defend from. You say that, but we noted that your laps were very consistent. Everything was between like a 22-7, like a 23-2 for a very long time. Yeah, there were there were a few mistakes, but you know I would have liked to keep it under 23, but um, that may be a little bit wishful. A little wishful and totally unnecessary. I mean, you just <laughs> blew them all away anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to win by more. Goals, man. You gotta have personal goals. Yeah, well, your personal goals are going to put your butt in D1 next season, so then you'll have plenty oh, of to follow. Not. I hope not. You'll never see me again. <laughs> I'll be in the back the whole time. How did you guys feel about the uh, the nature of the race? Did you feel like people were kind of having incidents? Was it kind of hard to navigate, or did you feel it was relatively smooth sailing? Two words. Blue were... flags. Blue, blue flags. flags. Yeah, blue yeah. yeah, some of those blue flags. I don't know if they just didn't know where to let people buy or what was going on, but we saw. Yeah, people... we saw a couple in the corkscrew that were just parking it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that was. And then making making me go around the outside on like sketchy turns and stuff. It was, yeah. Apart from trying to hold Not off Michael, I th yeah. Apart from trying to hold off Michael, I think that was really the only thing that uh, became a bit of a challenge is just trying to get by. Porsche's sure. overpowered. Please bring yep. BOP. Mm -hmm. Or the hey, Porsche you know what? Again. It's just because we can't, we don't have to get into gear six at this track. That's all. Any track where we have to actually get into gear six, it's right back to. Do you avoid six gear the whole track? Yes, sir. Pretty much, yeah. Huh. Today I learned. All right, there's a there's a question that's been going on in the chat that I need clarification on that you guys might be oh, able boy. to answer. <laughs> so, first, are hot dogs tacos? And second, our taco sandwiches. Mm, no. No to both. No, yeah, no to both. All right, cool. We're on. We're on the same page. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> on that note, uh, we'll call the stream there. Good night, to everyone still in the chat. Uh, join us next week where we see the season finale and we see who uh, who will end up with the championship for 
SRA Season 5 in Division 2. And do you guys want to say before we log off? FIA mm -hmm. put Kai Lamy as grade 1 on the calendar. Yeah. See you guys in a week. Yeah, a week. All right, Peace. man. Ciao. I would pay for her.